Hello everybody and welcome back to another video here today on RJ's Trains. Today is day number 7 of the 12 days of RJ's Trains, where in the 12 days leading up to Christmas, I am producing a video every day. So if you haven't checked out the 6 previous videos, go check them out now. But, let's get into today's video where I'm going to talk about what I'm hoping to see out of the upcoming Lionel catalog that's set to come out mid to end of January, beginning of February of 2020. So first up, this shouldn't be a surprise to anyone if you've been following along with my channel or the Model Train Talk podcast channel, is that I would love to see a Strasbourg number 90. Now Lionel has been teasing some scale Strasbourg locomotives for a very long time now, and I'm really hoping that they finally come through this year with some Strasbourg stuff. Now 90 would be a brand new tooling for Lionel, which they haven't done in over a decade when they did the Milwaukee Road S3, but one can hope. But in terms of scale Strasbourg stuff they already have toolings for, they have the 260 Moguls, which they actually previously did in a Strasbourg livery, but it was uh, conventionally controlled. And a few years ago, they tried doing a legacy version of these same Moguls, and they had a lot of electrical problems. But now with the newer technology and smaller boards, I have a lot of hope that we could at least get a Strasbourg 89 legacy Mogul sometime soon. And I'm sure that Lionel will do some Strasbourg passenger cars to go along with them. I haven't decided yet on the passenger cars. I may wait to pick up the MTH ones just because I know that they'll be cheaper. But um, as for passenger cars, we'll wait and see. I'm but really hoping to get one of the current Strasbourg steam locomotives, whether that's 475, 89, or my favorite, 90, in the next catalog. And so next up in the world of legacy steam locomotives, I'd really like to see a reissue of the Lionel Legacy Berkshires. Now, you'd probably be surprised if I told you the last time Lionel cataloged these new was in 2014. So that'll make it seven years since the last time they were, you know, officially cataloged. And, you know, they're beautiful pieces of modeling. You got to get the standard row names like Nickel Plate Road 765 and Pierre Marquette 2025. But I would also really be interested in seeing a reissue of the Lionel Legacy Polar Express. Now, they've kept on producing add-on cars to this series, but they've only issued this locomotive once, seven years ago at this point, by the time it's cataloged in 2021. And a lot of these locomotives are selling on eBay with a starting bid of close to ten grand, And a locomotive that Lionel could put on the marketplace for, you know, a grand, uh, $1,500 dollars, um, there's obviously that demand out there for the Legacy Polar Express reissue, whether that being younger modelers growing up like myself and now wanting to get that scale Legacy Polar Express, or just someone who missed out on it the first time and is trying to get it this time. Um, I think a reissue of the Lionel Legacy Polar Express and Lionel Legacy Berkshires as a whole would be a no-brainer for Lionel in 2021. And now taking a look at legacy diesel locomotives that I'd like to see. And first up, this is a diesel locomotive which you've seen on my channel before. This is actually a reissue of the H16-44. And I have this run from the original 2011 run. And this is a conventional model which my buddy Sid from Sid's Trains, he upgraded to TMCC. Video on that coming soon. But uh, it's a fantastic model, lots of great details on it great sounds, and there's even footage that exists of it running on Long Island, which is pretty amazing, but I would love to see it in the Titchy scheme, and uh, for those of you who aren't avid Long Island Railroad fans like I am, this is the late 1940s, early 1950s scheme that's really underappreciated in the O-scale Long Island Railroad market. Oftentimes, they do the Dashing Dan logo, which you saw in prior clips because it's more flashy. But this Tishy scheme is so ugly that only a mother could love it, and I guess I'm their mother because I love it. Um, it it's just all over the place. The Battleship Gray and the Orange Pilots, uh, it's very funky, and uh, I would really like to see it done. Even if it's like a NASA hobby exclusive, you know, they do it in partnership with Lionel after, you know, they produce this H16-44 in other row names, I would really like to see this done. And it would go perfectly with the new MTH Titchy scheme, RS1, 
which is set to be delivered in January of 2021. And uh, yeah, it would make an amazing addition to my collection. And did you really think you'd be able to make it through this video without a Long Island Railroad mention? And the second Lionel Legacy Diesel I'd like to see in the new catalog is a reissue of the SD70 Max. Uh, there's really no reason for this. Uh, I'm sure that Lionel, I think they made it a couple of years ago, but I'd really like to see a reissue of the Alaska road name. I have a K-Line Alaska SD70 Mac, and these things typically run in pairs, so I'd really like to pick up a second locomotive to run with it. So now looking at some rolling stock I'd like to see. Now, rolling stock, I'm really not as particular. If I see something that I like or a road name that I like, Cough Cough, Long Island, then I usually immediately pick it up, but I tend to be looking more at motive power than I am rolling stock nowadays. I have a lot of rolling stock, but one piece of rolling stock that has really grabbed my attention over the last year, not the Lionel Milk Cars, are these Lionel GLA Hoppers. I have two of them in the Long Island Railroad paint scheme that was done by the Nassau Lionel Operating Engineers back in the last time these were cataloged. They did a custom run of them as a fundraiser. But I'd really like to see these hoppers come back, even if it's in the Pennsylvania Railroad Road name. Uh, that's actually what ran on Long Island because the Long Island Railroad was a subsidiary of the Pennsylvania Railroad. And I think it would be awesome to have a train of a dozen or so of these cars running behind some Long Island Railroad steam power. And right now I have two, so that means I have ten I need to make up. And so I'd really like to see a reissue of these. And last up for the rolling stock, I would really like to see these scale N5 cabooses come back, which Lionel seems to put out every year. But the one difference is, is that they don't make it in the Long Island Road name. This was the last time that they did it in the Long Island Railroad road name. And the Long Island Railroad actually owns no pieces of rolling stock outside of some gondolas, maintenance away equipment, and some ore cars. The only other freight cars that say Long Island on them are cabooses. And the only real cabooses out there on the O-scale market are orange ones made by MTH. When in reality, most of them were red, like this Lionel one. So I'd love to see this one come back, even if it's without the camera, even if it's without the smoke unit. Make me a red, wood-sided N5 caboose. Please, Lionel, I am begging you. And last but not least, the last item I'd really like to see from Lionel in 2021 is a ready-to-run set, surprisingly. And it is a reissue of the Long Island Railroad ready-to-run M7 set except this time for it to be painted up like the new M9 train sets. Uh, the Long Island Railroad got these delivered starting back in 2019, and they're pretty much in regular service now with a dozen or so train sets in service. Um, I don't think that they'll do this in 2021 just because the supply and demand of these train sets, um, they're not as well known as the M7s, but it would be the same tooling. All they'd have to do is add the blue and yellow stripes to the sides and change around the paint scheme on the front of the cars. But other than that, it'd be the same and I would buy an M9 set in a heartbeat. So it's just the simple fact of changing out the color schemes. Well, that about wraps up what I would like to see in the 2021 volume one catalog, but I wanna hear your thoughts. What do you guys want in the new Lionel catalog? Um, there are certainly a lot of great old toolings to choose from, or maybe, who knows, take a stab at what Lionel's next new tooling is. But with that, take care, stay safe, and remember, go check out the old RJ's Trains 12 Days of videos, and stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the next five days.